Well, last night I finished uh, another bag and I'm gonna do an overview on it. And this is one of the more unique bags that I build and it's what I call my high-low. And I call it high-low because there's a high pouch and a lower pouch. So uh, It's a really a pretty high capacity bag and it's something that I was asked for for a number of years so I came up with this design and the 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 cool thing about this bag is that the main bag tubes so the main bag is essentially the same dimensions as my normal three tube bag but the front pouch is tall enough that it can support carrying lures as well. Now the front pouch isn't going to carry as big of lures. It'll carry uh, stuff that's like the profile of SP minnows, stuff like that. So around uh, six and a half inch lures in the front pouch and about close to nine and a half to ten inch lures in the main bag. So let me go over some specs with you here. Uh, the main bag dimensions, approximately 10 inches wide, approximately 10 inches tall, and approximately three and a half to four inches front to back. And then the front pouch, the dimensions are 10 inches wide by about six and a half inches tall and three and a half inches front to back. And like you've seen with most of my other videos, uh, these bags that I'm doing overviews, highlights on, are bags that were made specifically for a customer, so they have options on them. And in this case, the customer just had one option, and that was a main flap uh, Velcro leader pocket with stainless steel draining. So just a nice place to store leaders and terminal tackle. Other than that, everything that you're going to see on the high-low bag is standard. All my bags come with an adjustable and removable shoulder strap, so let's get that out of the way right now so it's not messing around here. So in order to make the high-low bag, I couldn't do a normal front flap that would be, that's like on my other bags because there's just not enough Velcro to really have a secure closure for the front flap with the tall uh, pouch here. So what I did is I created top opening flaps with a buckle uh, just for some extra security uh, to close the, uh, to close, keep the flaps closed. So pop the buckle. Let's get these flaps opened here. So they're top opening flaps. So it's really kind of convenient because sometimes when you're dealing with a larger flap, it can get in your way, especially if you're dealing with waves and stuff like that. Whereas these top opening flaps, you just pop them open and they're, they're really kind of out of your way. They just stay open and you can grab a lure out of there pretty easily. Uh, inside, the main bag, the, what I call the high bag of the high-low, it comes standard with an open top pocket and there's a stainless steel drainage grommet in the open top pocket. And then it has three tubes and they are each eight inches in length by three inches in diameter. And like always on my bags, there's about one inch of headroom uh, between the top of the tube and the underside of the flap. Uh, this bag um, also comes with uh, the lure retention ears. I've got them tucked inside. You can probably see them alongside the tube in here. So those are the lure retention ears. You can fold those out uh, and they do have the, the high-low flaps. Actually have Velcro on them as well just to offer some more uh, some more holding power on those ears. So that pretty much covers the, the main bag of the high-low, the high bag. So let's button that down, lock the strap in. 
And then let's talk about the uh, the front pouch here. So the front pouch, it has, let's see that better for the camera. It has four tubes inside that are each 5.5 inches in length and two inches in diameter. And there's approximately three quarters of an inch of space between the top of the tube and the under the side of the flap. You're gonna be able to fit uh, SP minnows. I, I'm not sure how many, probably, probably at least two, maybe three per tube. And then my bucktail loops, there's eight bucktail and tin loops in there. Those come standard. And as I've talked about before, I build my bucktail loops big enough so that if you fish your SP minnows without a tail hook, you can slide SP minnows inside my bucktail loop. So close that up. And like with most of my other removable front pouches, you can see that it's held on by a couple of clips on each side. Let's pop this off. It's held on by Velcro as well, loop Velcro on here, the hook on there, and this pouch also has belt loops on the back, so it could be used for standalone belt use, which makes this a super versatile bag. So let's get the pouch back on here. line up the bottom, put it in place, and snap down these buckles. All right, as you can see, the bottom of this is extremely well drained. Uh, 21 total drainage grommets in there, so water is not going to stay in this bag. And like my other bags, belt loops right here my finger underneath there bag is bent out a little bit belt loops and stainless steel d-rings on the back and as i've spoken about the stainless steel d-rings that are on the back are so that when you are casting surf casting and you don't have this bag in your belt you're using it as a shoulder bag uh, you can have a clip on your belt and you can clip one or both D-rings to your belt and it keeps the bag from swinging around your body uh, when you cast. As always, on my shoulder bags, I have the Buddy Lock accessory attachment points on both sides of the bag so that you can add accessories. And I've gone over accessories in past videos. I don't have, don't have any near me right now to to lock on here, but just refer back to a previous video and see how that system works. I will uh, put a link down below in this video uh, that's for my bag quote and order forms so that you can see the prices of the different bags, uh, the prices of the options, what options I offer, contrasting stitching color, trim color, uh, stuff like that, and then all of the Buddy Lock accessories that I build uh, as well. So once again, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope this kind of explained the high-low bag and I will continue to highlight more of my bags as I complete them for customers.